checking on our next game. But yeah. Oh, Kandukin versus... Is this a tournament game? Okay, we have Kandukin versus... I actually don't know his name, but he's our best Falco player. And he's, 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 he's our version of Tilde. <laughs> also, they were just talking earlier. Please, like, if, if they're saying something on Mick, it's probably right. Honestly, correct player. Let's see how it goes. Let's see if Peach can get those down in. Falco can get those up tilts. Falco gets an early combo. Let's see if Peach can get some aerial into it as well. Falco fishing for these grabs and also kind of keep Peach in the air, not giving him for any damage. Ooh, up smash out of shield, keeping off and nuking. Am I what? for some way to get into Falco, but right now Falco's frame data is just walling out Peach. The moment Peach approaches, it's up to the forward to something. Peach just, yeah, and Peach, that's all that Peach needs. A Nair. Aw, but... <laughs> the Duke is not having a fun time right now. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess Peach may have not been the answer to Falco. Falco just walling it out with nares and up tilts, not letting Peach get any, get any momentum herself. As we know, Peach's aerials just kind of can keep matchup completely in her favor, but Falco not letting her in and getting his own combos kind of effed over Peach. These two are good friends, so if you see one pop off really hard after winning, like you just just know it's it's completely normal. <laughs> that could also happen. They could definitely pop off after losing, you know. You think I didn't get JV forward? Uh huh. Okay then. Wow. Oh. My man pulling out his Greninja. much off just the border, of course. Slow us to somehow beat up from the Falcon. I mean Falco. Speaking of Falcon, wait for him next match. Damn, that's signature down smash. We all love it. Up air finishing out the stock. Most reliable thing for Falco, honestly. Extremely fast and almost out of everything. Ingredients for a second up air. Maybe he was predicting the ninja from there or something. I can definitely see Falco just getting one up throw into up air into Nair and just putting Greninja in a really bad situation off stage. 
And then again, Greninja can also get a lot off of oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. I mean, Greninja forward smash underrated. Comes out extremely fast. I mean, it comes out as fast as his forward air. Pretty just very yeah, combo heavy or boring as character. Definitely needs those dash attack down there to keep him in the air. Keep him in the meta. Ooh, almost getting that sweet spot, but still got the up smash. Reading the side beat and ending off the stock early. That was in a very bad situation. Especially with how good in this combo game is. Oh, up air? Ooh. Reading the up air, he's going for his own combo. Back throw. Down. Hadouken can really pulling it out with a Greninja. We haven't seen that pick, but my god. Really was able to rack up damage fast. Man, Kanduken is honestly a jack of all trades. Can play everything. I mean, honestly, the, how fast he killed on the second stock and how he was able to rack a percent on that last stock really got Kanduken to win. It was starting off a little slow, but once he got that download down, like, read the up air, read his, like, down tilts. Insane last two stocks from Greninja. Let's see if Falco can get his own momentum going on. Falco getting those up air strings, making them even again. Both of these need one opening and the other is now at 70%. Both of them are keeping it very even, not letting the other get a huge combo off. Greninja just keeping Falco up in the air, because he knows that up tilt can just ruin him. Oh, getting two friends. I mean, both of them are just fishing for, like, just a couple moves. And they know the other's moves, so they're just kind of... Kind of like the previous matchup, they're just trying to wall each other out. Ah! Nothing off the down throw. Just one up tilt for Greninja Dash Attack. Ooh, or just up smash. Finishing off the slow. But yep, side B read. Greninja just keeps getting that. Falco kick is recover high. And if he recovers low, Greninja gives it a down air. But he definitely has to mix it up. Greninja trying, trying to get an engage right now with Falco just racking up percent. And just knocking him farther and farther away. Oh! Getting a down tilt. Forward tilt off. Oh, and Tex. He, he's dash attack right here. Greninja. He can get one, then he can probably get... Nair, forward air, anything off of that, or just that. Trying to get an F smash, trying to read the short. Yeah, just down tilt, but planking with down tilt. Getting the grab. Now he really needs to keep Falco off stage to get the advantage. So Falco going for an extremely high recovery. Ooh, the mind games. He's still on each other's heads. Just knows that he needs to keep him off stage. Oh, reading the side B again. He just has those side Bs down like a book. I mean, honestly, what else could Falco do when he's in those situations? Oh, up throw. 
jump for that? He knows he has to. Oh, that top back air finishing off the stock. Grenin just still racking up a lot of percent from the previous stock. If Falco can get a big combo off now, he'll be an advantage. Oh, oh, up throw? <laughs> Man, Duke can really trying to get an up throw off. Oh, but forward tilt ending off the stock. Duke in a better position for that for, uh, forward tilt. Most of his grabs were in the center of the stage, so he wasn't able to get much off of them. Uh, they just need an up tilt from Falco or a dash attack from Greninja, and that could be a huge combo. Or grab, of course. Oh! Trying to re read a non directional air dodge. Oh! That could have been an up air. Greninja thinking that he's going to be the eyes to the left. Oh, catching it with a down tilt. Falco trying to end the stock right there. Oh, not being able to keep him off stage. Grenade trying to get something off. Yep. Oh. That would have ended right there. Falco didn't air dodge. These two really just trying to get one of their kill confirms off. Falco, of course, air dodging with Grenade playing the base. God. Wall jumps and everything. Oh. Oh. Up smash. Amazing move on Falco. And that ends off the game. Honestly, if Kandukin started with Greninja, it still could have gone either way, but it is what it is. Amazing game by both of them. And it kind of.